Hello. In this video, we're going to show some examples of using the product of powers. Now, this rule is probably the most important exponent rule. It's the one you're going to use most frequently. So let's do a quick review. If you have uh, the like base, for example, at x is being raised to a power, and you multiply it by the same base raised to another power, what do you do with the two powers, a and b? You add them. So x to the a times x to the b is x to the a plus b. So if you had something like q to the fifth times q squared, just be very careful. You are not adding. I'm sorry, you're not multiplying 5 times 2, even though you see a multiplication sign here. You're going to be adding 5 and 2. So this would be q to the tenth. The same thing happens even if you have a coefficient. So if we had 3x to the fourth times x to the ninth, well, that 3 is just being 3 times x to the fourth times x to the ninth. Well, x to the fourth times x to the ninth, again, 4 plus 9 is 13. 3x to the thirteenth. Remember, all your other rules still apply. So, for example, you have the commutative property of multiplication. If you have 2y squared times 3y cubed. Now, I made this one seemingly tricky, but just think about it. 2 is being multiplied by y squared, which is being multiplied by 3, which is being multiplied by y cubed. So we still have the 2 and the times 3, and you can actually just put them next to each other. 2 times 3 times y squared times y cubed. Now you don't need to write this down. This is really what's going on in your mind when you solve this problem. So essentially in your mind, you're just taking a look at the 2, and you're going to multiply it by 3. 2 times 3 is 6. But then you're going to use the product rule, the product of powers rule, and you're going to say, what's y squared times y cubed? And again, you are not multiplying 2 times 3 here. We add, according to our rule, we add the exponents. So we have y to the fifth. So the answer to this problem, 2y squared times 3y cubed equals 6y to the fifth. Now what if we go in a different direction? What if we have something like x squared times y to the fourth, are we going to get something to the sixth power? Because 2 plus 4 is 6. Are we going to get something like that? And the answer is no, because we have unlike bases. x squared and y to the fourth, not the same base. So we really can't do much with this problem. The answer is going to be x squared y to the fourth. There really is no simplification involved. So you have to pay attention to the like bases. If the bases are like, then you're going to go ahead and add those exponents. What if you have something where the exponent is not showing? For example, let's do q to the sixth times q. Well, I don't see any number here. And a lot of times when people don't see a number, they think it's zero. But when you think about it, what's q being raised to? And like, in other words, how many times is q being multiplied by itself? The answer is it's really being multiplied by itself one time. So you can just imagine that there's a q to the first. So the final answer is going to be q to the seventh. And uh, we could try one more example. x times x to the tenth. And again, we're going to just pretend there's a 1 here, x to the 1 times x to the 10th. 1 plus 10 is 11. The answer is x to the 11th power.